Hello, and welcome to the CoreView Cloud How-To Series. In this video, we will look at how to navigate the dashboard page. After logging into CoreView, you will automatically be directed to the dashboard page. If you are already logged in, you can use the menu bar at the top to navigate to the dashboard by selecting Dashboard and then CoreView. Note that if you are a multi-company user, the filter option at the top of the page will permit you to jump between different companies that you have access to. The first information box on the dashboard is the number of sites in alarm. This will include sites that are in alarm state due to measurements exceeding limits, low batteries, or overdue units. Clicking on the alarm bell will direct you to the readings page and will only display the sites that are currently in alarm. The next information box will show you the number of RMUs that are currently reporting low battery status. Like the alarm information window, you can click on the battery warning image and CoreView will show you which specific sites are experiencing low batteries. The site status window will display the status of the last message received from each site. If you hover your mouse over any of the bar graphs, it will display the count for you. Clicking on any of the bar graphs will bring you to the site status page that will contain further detail. In the rectifier operation window, there is an indicator for each four hour period how many of your sites reported in during that period that were in an alarm or normal state. The default name window is a handy tool to use during new installation. If a new RMU is deployed, CoreView will automatically populate the site name as the antenna's electronic serial number, or ESN. Clicking on the box will take you to the site list page, where you can rename the site from the ESN to something more meaningful. Please refer to the video on renaming sites for further information. The rectifier state graph will give you an idea of how many rectifiers were interrupting in an on or off state in the last 24 hours. Similar to the other graphs, you can click on a bar for more detailed information. The fleet count graph will display how many RMUs you have for each measurement type, whether it be a rectifier, test point, coupons, bonds, or ER probes. If you hover your mouse over the graph, it will give you the count of each type. Clicking on a type will display a more detailed list. Lastly, the login activity window will give you an idea of how many users logged into your CoreView account over the last few days. It would seem that on this account, nobody likes to work on Fridays. If you have any further questions at all, please refer to our website at www.mobiletext.com or call our support team toll-free at 1-844-689-3282.